Uh, oh my gosh, the messages I'm getting right now. All right, so I will get out my, uh, hey, it's Selling Past Your Expiration Date, being through 50 over 50. I'm your one host, Jay. I'm Peg, hi gang. <laughs> All right, I got my block of wood, bang your head here for me. But I will tell you what happened. So sometime between when I did my Thursday show and now StreamYard, which is who I use to broadcast, added a step. I always click the go live button and it just went live. Now it says, are you sure? And I missed that because that wasn't there before. So we already started the show. We were into the segment. And then you guys were like, are they ever going to start the show? <laughs> I love so, yeah. it. So thanks, StreamYard, for the, the the are you sure button. Yes, I'm sure. That's why I clicked go live. But so, that, was all, that was all me. Right. I, I can lay my son today on that one. <laughs> uh, so, so sorry. We were, we were going on. Yeah. With yeah. Those, so let's start again. Hey, everybody. How you doing? Hey, mom. How's your weather? The weather is gorgeous today. We had a hot, hot week, but we had a, a rainstorm blow through, took out the Wi-Fi, took out uh, my TV. But uh, we're back in business today with a gorgeous day in Ohio. So very, very nice. All right. Uh, since since you just tuned in. Sorry about that, everybody. Uh, uh -huh. We are talking about adding a YouTube video to your listing today. If you look over my shoulder right here. I have a lava lamp going, so I, I have the listing up on eBay, but I'm going to show you how to get the video into your listing. And as you can see, we have a guest who is going to be sharing a story with us. So Big Daddy's here. Hi, Dad. How are you? Oh, good. All right. Since I have both of you here, hey, how's your health? Good. We're, we're good. <laughs> we move slow, but we're good. <laughs> You're above ground. That's always good. Yeah, we're getting out, and that's uh, that's the fun thing. You know, I mean, we just love the, the nice weather because we love garage sailing so much and barn sailing. So you know, it's uh, it, it's fun for us. But uh, we look forward to our, our our days of getting out to go find the goodies. All right. So speaking of, here's why Big Daddy's here. <laughs> now it's time for close encounters of the thrifty kind, kind, kind. Okay, so that's usually on thrifty business. But because of uh, a sale that mom and dad went to this week, I said, hey, hey, dad, come on and share your story. So uh, you guys were going out to go garage sailing for the day or the morning? I'm sorry, say that one more time. You guys were headed out to go garage sailing? Yes, yes, yes. Uh, basically, uh, we were going out on the ones that I had listed. And as we were driving to this sale in Middlefield, uh, we passed a sign on the road that said, you know, garage sale that way. And I told dad, well, let's, let's hit that one on our way back. And, um, you know, we'll, we'll see if we can, we can find it. So we did, we went to the first sale, which was good. And, uh, and then on our way back, we uh, started to follow the signs down the road and then we'll let dad so, take So you it. had no idea where you're going initially because you were just like, oh, there's a sign. Let's follow right. it. Well, yeah. we knew the road we were going on and approximately where it was on the road just by the address that we read. But yeah. we didn't know what place it was. And the closer we got, the more I kept saying to your mother, I think we're going to my old great granddad's house who built this barn. That's all that was built in 1900 all by hand. That barn is huge. It's in the Ohio State Register as the largest barn ever built in the state of Ohio, by hand. So there, there enough, when we got there, we pulled in. Yeah. I said, this is my great-granddad's place. You know, we almost got, you know how you get the, the, the gooseys, you know? Yep. Yeah. And, and uh, of course, I've been by it a thousand times. We have never, ever stopped there in our life. And it's all, from door to door, from our house to that house, it's only four miles. Yeah. So you can see how big the barn is. There's the house. The house is a good sized house. That's a four car garage on the back. Here it is from the street. And then you can see how big the opening is uh, by mom and dad standing there. So your great, great granddad built it. Yep. My great granddad. Great granddad. Sorry. One great. Yep. Uh -huh. And so, but that's not just the, the, that's not the whole point of the story. The whole point of the story is you go in and say, Hey, I'm well, Regan. <laughs> well, when, when we got there, the people are set out right in front of that door you see. They're setting out outside. They had a little tent and a card table as people would come out of the barn buying stuff. They would. So I walked up to the 
tent and I said, are you the people that own this? And I said, yes, we are. What can we do for you? I said, well, I think I'm going to make your day. <laughs> and they said, why? What's, uh, what's, who are you? What's that? And I said, well, my name's Regan Smith. And there's some people call me Big Daddy. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I said, my great granddad built this barn there. And, and the, the husband and the wife were, uh, they went, no. I went, yeah. And I said, and I've never been here. And, uh, and, and the, the guy says to me, well, I'm going to make your day. Hold on just a minute. And he goes in the house and he comes back and he's got this great big uh, storyboard. And, and it's a big frame there. I'm holding it there. You see that? My grandparents are on that. My great grandparents are on that. They've got this storyboard they got from the people they bought the barn from. Now, you see that buggy right in the middle of it? Yep. Well, if you can blow that up, that's my granddad and my grandmom. That's Archie and Flossie. <laughs> That and, is awesome. And, and uh, so when the guy brought this storyboard out and I start looking at it, I go, holy smokes. And the woman says, what's your grandma's name? And I said, Flossie. She says, yes, Flossie. She's buried right across the street. And I said, yeah, there's a little cemetery over there. My, she goes, we, we take people over there all the time and say, here's the kids that grew up in the barn. Here, you see the old lady down the left corner? Right here? Right there. Yes. That's my great-grandmother. Is that the one that has her name underneath it? Or maybe I cut it they out. They all have a name okay. underneath it. Yeah, because one of them says Flossie. Yeah. yeah. I just, yeah, I just yeah. told right. you. That one does, I think, right there. You can't see it that clear, but yeah, I can tell it says yeah. Flossie. Okay, right. yeah. This is Flossie again right there. Yeah. See? yeah. yeah. Uh, so uh, they're asking me all kinds of things about the, the pictures, and I'm going, well, we go. well. Well, wait a minute. Give me a minute. I've never even seen these pictures. <laughs> that there's Flossie on the right. Yep. All right. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's my grandma. That's my grandpa and uh, my great grandpa. There. That's my great grandpa. Isn't that wild? That's crazy. And so we talked to these people quite a quite bit. A, quite a long time. And then uh, they said, "Yeah, I see your uh, grandma's name is uh, middle name." Uh, Flossie Tuttle Stone. I said, yeah, and my middle name is Tuttle. And the woman just went crazy. <laughs> she went, you got to be kidding me. She says, well, why? I, you've never been around. Where do you live? I said, well, four miles from here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because so dad is Regan Tuttle Smith. And of course, they're, they're, we're the Tuttles. Now, my, you're showing my great-grandmother there. Her maiden name was Bartlett. Uh, the one in the big picture, Jason. The, the, the older the, woman. The older woman again. Oh, Not that uh, one. That one. The, alone, the one alone. Yeah, the one that, alone. Yeah, that one. Her, her maiden name is Bartlett. Her great-great-uncle is Josiah Bartlett, signed the Declaration of Independence. Yeah, if you look on the bottom, Jason, you'll see Josiah. Well, Jason knows that. You'll yep, see Josiah last, Bartlett. last column, first name on yep. the Declaration of Independence. Yep, Josiah Bartlett. So we have relatives. There's there's one of his descendants, Jason, right yeah. there. And her last her maiden name is Bartlett. Now, the people that live there now, how long have they lived there? Well, it was over 30 years, they said. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. They, they Two of their daughters were married in the barn. Oh, and wow. They got, they got white lights all over you know, for decorating purposes when they've used the barn for parties and whatnot. Because the first thing I said when we walked in there, I said, well, I'll bet you've had a lot of parties in this barn. And they said, oh, yes. And, and two of our daughters have been married in the barn. I mean, it's gigantic, you guys. You just can't imagine. I would have taken pictures, but it was so dark in there. I just didn't know if you could really. Well, you would have had great pictures if you would have had the ten already. That's right. Yeah. I didn't know because I finally got the new one. So if you next can, time. If you can show the buggy again, Jason, yeah. and if yeah. you could blow it up as much as you can. There you go. Can you do it any closer? Nope. That's as big as I can get it. Okay. Well, that is my grandma. Is that Flossie? Oh, wait. I can go over there. Yeah. There. Yeah, yeah, there. Flossie Tuttle. 
stone right up the top. You yeah, look. Yeah, yeah, there yep, is. Uh -huh. yep. And and if you look at Archie real close, he and I look quite a bit alike. Yeah, I can see a little and, bit. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Oh yeah. Yep. That's my grandpa Archie. And then what year what year was that born? That barn built? Nineteen hundred. Oops. Where is By it? my great grandfather. Yeah. Yep, my family's been there a long time. So there you go. When you go to a garage sale, you never know if you're going to walk into the uh, property where your great grandfather built a barn. I know. I mean, how how ironic was that? That you know, if we hadn't seen their little sign, because that's the only place they advertised. I said, if we hadn't seen that little sign, we never would have known. You know, Scott Scott Williams knows his TV. Yep, they stole my great great uncle's name for the West Wing oh, show. That was the yes. name of the president. That's right. It yeah. was. Where where's yeah. our residuals? You're no kidding. <laughs> where's our residuals? So there you go. There is a close encounter of the thrifty kind with Big Daddy and uh, Dad's side of the family. So there you go. See? Do you want do you want to show that one picture, Jason? Now, honey? Maybe? Oh yeah, we, we might as well. Yeah. Uh, Who Flossie yeah, and yeah, uh, yeah, we're yeah. gonna do this one here. All right, so usually we do uh, that's my mom and mama's boy in the middle, but since dad is sitting here this week for mama's boy is oh look at this family photo. Now, now that's Flossie in 1971. One, May of 71. Yep. That that's almost 50 years ago, and that little 50 years ago, Jason was that little baby right there. <laughs> Yeah, so there's four generations there. Oh, and the, and the, the other lady is my mother. Her name is Lita. So that was the four generation. Yep. Oh, there, there we go. We had it. We had to do this early because there's Dad and Flossie and me and Grandma. Right. And, and look at that. I that's 50 years ago, and I had a goatee then. Look at that. <laughs> I know. I say not much has changed other than the color. What no. happened to me? What happened? <laughs> I know, honey. Sorry. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right, Dad. Thank you very much for story time. Good to see you. And now, uh, now we're going to get down to brass tacks. How to add a video. Oh, boy. All right. Why don't you watch this, too? <laughs> yeah. All we're right. both going to need this. Okay. So before I show you the actual demonstration, I want to show you ways and reasons you would use a video. So here I am selling a vintage hand mixer. And I wanted to show it worked. And then I told my assistant, oh, let's do a 3D. Ah, ah. But also I wanted to show that the, uh, the whatever you call them, the mixers actually come out. All right. So that's one yeah. use of a video. And let me, let me share it so you can hear it. Oops. All right. So let's uh, stop screen share. And I'll do Chrome tab da -da, and share audio. Now, if you got anything that makes sound, you definitely want people to be able to hear it and see it. Now, I also want to point out, look how great that looks against black. Yes, it really now, stands out. Now, it's not the clearest video because this is a little bit older. If I took it right now with my 11 Pro Max or mom's 1100, absolutely be way clearer. But look how nice an all white pops on the background there. All right. I got a couple more examples. So here's a great example. Now, this one didn't have any sound, so there was really no need for it. But here's a great example of why you'd want a video. So here is a coffee cup with a clock. Oh, but I put in dorky music. Uh, here's a coffee cup with a cloud on it, but as you put your hot coffee or hot water or hot tea in there, you'll start to see the stealth fighter. So again, you're showing the customer that your product still works. All right. So Debbie was throwing me some questions people were asking. Okay. Oh, okay. So real quick, Heather says, how come you guys have never been to the barn before? Well, uh, just no reason to go in. I mean, we didn't, you know, want to. I, I, I knew it was my great granddad's place. And like I said, I've gone by it uh, probably 2,000 times, yeah. you know. Um, and just... I've always known it was my granddad. You know, oh, the house has been changed and the, a number of times, you know, uh, added on and changed here and changed there. And uh, uh, 
and every time I go by, I tell Peg, and Peg was like, yeah, I know, I know. <laughs> I've only heard the story a million times, but this was special. It really was. I mean, my goodness, what a what a and what day. what a good opportunity just to stop. Only yeah. because oh, yeah. I've never been, I've never been there, you know. Yeah. And right. the people, the people were so nice. Yeah, they really were. And they that, that, that's a good bonus. Yeah, yeah, they were elated to me telling them. Oh, and, I can and imagine. They, and the, that's when they brought out the storyboard they had. And oh my God, I lost it. I started crying, you know. <laughs> All right, well, Jesus is watching you, but also Jesus is awesome in the dark. So when you're shooting anything that lights up, boom, half of it should be lit up and half of it should be dark so you can see it lit up, okay? So you definitely want to do both. And, okay, and then this is the last one, and I'm going to share sound again. Now, this one, uh, this one isn't anything that moves. It's just a tiki mug. The only thing the tiki mug does is it holds your cocktail, but I got this dandy little turntable. And so I want to uh, profile my mugs very nicely here. And I just happen to be have Tiki Bar music playing in the background. So it's just one revolution, about 18 seconds. And I did it with all my Tiki mugs and they all sold like that. Now they're all good mugs, but this enhances it. All right. So there you go. So you don't even have to have things that move, but anything that moves, that sings, that lights up, definitely, definitely you want to throw a video in. No more than 30 seconds. 15 to 20 is kind of about the norm because it is that ADD generation. You don't need a 17-minute video of your uh, uh, light lighting up. You know, I did this video we're going to show in a second of this lava lamp. I think I did 30 seconds. And that's it. And that was even a little long. Okay. So here are our steps. Let's get to our steps. Step number one, and I made it nice and easy for everyone to see. Shoot a video horizontally. That is in all caps. Yep. Yes, I'm yelling at you and you and you and you and you because I see y'all go, hey, I added a video and it's vertical. Yes, I know your phone is vertical, but if anyone's watching on a monitor, on a TV, always think about your TV. Your TV is not vertical, it's horizontal. Always shoot video horizontally. All right. So the one step I'm not showing today uh, is how to uh, is actually shooting the video. I hope you can figure out how to turn your camera on your phone and shoot a video. Okay. But the next step I will show you. Now you have to upload to YouTube. It used to be easier. It ain't. So here's how it goes. I won't even talk about how it used to be because there's really no point. Here's how it goes now. Let me share my phone. There we go. Okay. So whether you're iPhone, uh, whether you're an Apple or an Android, you just got to go to your YouTube app. If you've never used it, you're going to have to log in. However, you're watching mom and I on YouTube, that's your login. You have a YouTube, you're watching us, you'll have a login. So you got to get logged into your YouTube. And then when you open it, if you look across the top there, you'll see uh, off to the right is a little camera with a plus. You tap on that little camera, and then you have options, video, live, story, or post. Well, we want to upload a video, so we're going to tap video. Okay, and then it's only bringing me to the – now, I could shoot fresh video right from here, but I recommend shooting the video first. And then it shows all the videos I have shot. So, of course, we're doing this one of the uh, lava lamp. So, besides the fact that it's bubbling – I came in, I backed up. I wanted to show kind of like the full the full uh, awesomeness of this Marvin the Martian lava lamp. So at the top, you see it says next. So we're going to click next. And you want to give it a title. And you want to give it a title that people might look up on YouTube because we're also going to drop our eBay listing into our YouTube video just in case someone's uh, Marvin the Martian fan is watching the video. They might want to buy it. So Marvin the Martian... <clears throat> lava lamp and it's from the warner brothers store warner brothers store okay so for the description all i'm going to put right now is uh you can purchase it here now i uh, will add the link in a second all right so we click upload see it in the upper right hand corner we click upload okay 
So that is uploading right now. It's a 30 second video. Let me look at a couple of the questions I saw coming in. Should we make a, oops, should we make a separate YouTube account? Nope. Why? Why would you want to split up people that are looking at your stuff? So people come and they watch Thrifty Business and they watch Selling Past Your Expiration Date. And then when I upload these videos, they're like, hey, that's cute and cool. So keep everybody within your stuff. All right. So now it is uploaded. So now you're done with your phone. You don't need your phone no more. You just got to upload it from your phone to YouTube. All right. So let me stop sharing that. And we are on to step number three. Grab the YouTube link. So let's go over to YouTube. And share screen. Now, you saw how not long that took. It's already in YouTube, ready to go. Ready to go. So if you're shooting video, say, wherever you take your photos, click upload from the second you're done. By the time you walk to your office, it's already there. Now, that's, of course, if you shot a 30-second or less video. If you became Steven Spielberg and shot a four-hour video, it's going to be a little bit longer, 30 seconds or less. All right. So far, so good, Ma? Mm-hmm. Easy peasy? So far, we'll see. <laughs> okay. So we want to grab the YouTube link. Now, your video sh should be either unlisted or public. I say public because, like I said, people might be looking just for Mar from the Martian videos on YouTube. If they find mine, then I will have the link uh, into in my eBay, uh, my eBay listing. And then Sharon says, do you delete them when you're done? Where is that? Uh, when they sell. Eh, I could. I should. Or just make them unlisted. But I'm lazy and I don't. Okay. So let's open up this video right here. And here is, let's go right to the video there. So there is our Marvin the Martian video, ready to rock and roll. There it is. Okay. So right here, we're going to click share. And this is the link we need right there. See that little link right there? That's your share link. So we're going to click copy right to the right. Now it's copy. Okay. Are we all together up to step three? Okay. All right. Step four, convert the YouTube link and copy the conversion. Now, we used to go to one place. Now I'm going to send you someplace else because this one's actually a little cleaner and easier to use. It's on flippertools.com. I have no affiliation with them, but they made a pretty good tool. So we'll use it. All right. When you scroll down, they actually have a bunch of things you can use, but for this demonstration purposes, we are looking for YouTube eBay listing HTML creator. So click on that. Okay. Paste your video link from YouTube. This is where everyone screws up. Everyone just goes and sticks their link in their listing. That don't work. Here's what you got to do. Okay. So we're going to paste it. There we go. And then click OK. Now they're pretty good. They said, all right, so on their website, they're very much spelling this out for you. Click the copy button and then paste the snippet into eBay's listing HTML. So we're going to click the copy button. Okay, and see that little check mark? It's copied. That means it's ready to go into your eBay listing. So now we're going to go edit our eBay listing. Okay, I already have my eBay listing. Here we go. Now, I do want to point out a couple things. Here's my picture. Pictures in the dark, in the light, not bubbling, obviously, all the way around, top. Uh, and the top comes off, so I wanted to show that. Uh, looking straight down, the bottom, and then a couple more of it bubbling, and there we go. Now, before we add the video, just as an example, here's someone that just sold it for 90 bucks. They have... One, two pictures, and that's it. They don't show it turned off. And look, something happened to their lava. And they have no video. All right, a lot of the questions you guys are asking, just wait. Wait. Trust me, I'm going to get to all those. So if you have questions when we're done, then ask them. Because the questions you're asking, yes, I'm going to be doing that. Here's the other listing. As you can see, they took vertical pictures. It's not filling the whole square. If we go back, look how mine fills the whole square. Theirs is very vertical. And they have one, two, three, four, five. They got good about photos. Oh, yeah. I just realized my my teenager didn't take the pictures of the box. I just realized. Got to have her add that. But no video. No video. Okay. So you're going to go revise your item right at the top there. 
and you're going to come down to your description. Okay, here's where people get messed up. See how it says standard and HTML? Standard is when you can read it in what I'll call normal. We all can read that. HTML is what it looks like when it's in code. This is where you need to be, in the HTML. So put your cursor before the beginning, hit enter a couple times, back it up, and then right there you're going to paste all the stuff that you just uh, copied from the conversion. Are you with me, Ma? I'm with you. I, I, you that, that, part I could, that part I could remember. <laughs> Are you taking notes right now? I am as we go. Well, yes. say, you can you can rewatch this. You know. Oh, I will many times. All right. Now here's when we see the magic. Click standard. Boom. There's our video right in the listing. All right. Number six. Oops. I'm sorry. Number six was switch to HTML. Whoops. My bad. We did that already. <laughs> number seven. I was way ahead. Paste the copy conversion. And here's the big one. People forget to save the changes to their listing. So when they go back to their listing, they're like, hey, where's my video? All right. So we're going to save the changes. Da, 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 da. Update listing. Okay. So eBay got rid of what's called active content in our listings about two years ago. Don't worry. You don't really need to know what that is. But what that means is back two years ago, the video would play inside the listing. Nowadays, it will open a separate window. So we scroll down to our description. Hey, there's our video. So when we click it, it opens a brand new tab. And there's the video. Okay. I think I know what happened, Jace. Why mom had all those bars across my video last week. I didn't go and do the item description first. I put the video in. And then when I tried to put in the item description, I couldn't. I think that's what happened. Yeah, I would probably do the description first. That way you don't have to worry about format and all that other stuff. Right. Now, here's the last step. Add the eBay link to your YouTube video. So here's our YouTube video. So we're going to click edit video. And it'll take us back to, uh, we can edit our description. And now we have our listing right here. So we're going to copy that and put it right there. Now, another thing that eBay does, uh, excuse me, YouTube does is hashtags. So we're going to hashtag a few things. What hashtags do, it brings more eyes onto your stuff. So we're going to hashtag uh, Daffy Duck because Marvin came from the Daffy Duck cartoon. And it's called Duck Dodgers. So we're going to hashtag Duck Dodgers. And we're going to hashtag, what else should we hashtag? Uh, we'll hashtag Mars. He's from Mars. There we go. And save. So let's look at this now on, uh, okay, so there's my hashtags. There's the link to it. But the one thing we didn't do that I forgot to do, I'm going to go back to edit. It's still unlisted. So that means no one's really going to see that video unless they have the direct link. But we're going to make it public so everyone can see it. So now everyone will be able to see that video. If they're just cool. looking just around. Like <laughs> Just like that. So now we have the video that's in our listing with hashtags, the link to our listing, and we have our listing. That's not my listing. That's not my listing. Where's my listing? There's my listing with the video in it. All right. It's really not that hard. You know, once you see the steps, super duper easy. Yep. Does eBay care if we put video in our listing? Nope, not a bit. Should I hold my breath for an upload video inside eBay? If you hold your breath, you will die. We're, we're all going to die of old age waiting for eBay to join the rest of us in 2020. I know. We, and we've talked about this a number of years, actually, why they haven't gotten to that point where it's, it, it's one little push the button here, upload your video. Yeah. Now, Debbie, Debbie just messaged me directly. She uh -huh. said, I just got noticed that you uploaded a new video. So if people are subscribed to you, even though this isn't the normal, I mean, the normal stuff for me is this show, Thursday show, my shorter score videos. But anytime eyes come to my my YouTube, it's good for me. So because yeah, maybe they maybe they don't know who I am or what these shows are, but now that they've seen the Marvin, they might follow to the video. Yeah, right. And yeah, yeah. As, yeah. as Marisa says, where to go? Uh, oops, nope, that was not the one I wanted. Formatting gets messed up when I try and add a description after I insert the video. Yeah, it yes. is best to get your listing up, pictures, everything else done and up, then do the video. 
Because as you can see, it was super duper simple. Nothing mm -hmm. got screwed up and easy, easy peasy. Did you see Debbie's uh, question? Did you change your uh, title to say you have a video? Oh, yeah. So you can do that. Uh, I don't always. Plus, I'm the only. Okay. So, like on this product, I'm the only one with this product right now. So I don't really need to trumpet it any more than it, the fact that it's there because I'm the only listing right now. But you could. So I could take out Duck Dodgers and put C video. And I would probably put that in all caps right at the end. C video or video inside. That way people will know to look at it. Yes, that's why you got the message because I just up uploaded a fresh video. Yeah. I think Michael just showed up. Yeah, we just did that, Mike. We just did that. Yep. Now, I don't take down the videos. May say someone's looking at this video and they follow that link. For a while, that link will still be there, at least till it sells. Um, I mean, on the YouTube, and maybe they end up buying something else from me. Who knows? You never know. That's right. You know. The well, I'm going to try this. The tomorrow. site to convert it is FlipperTools.com. Yeah, FlipperTools.com. All right. Now, now that we got to the end of it, is there any more questions? Because I saw you guys asking questions. And I put the link. Yeah, I I knew I was going to co cover most of it just by the demonstration. I'm looking to see if there's anything different. Uh, I'd love to add music to the video, but wondering about copyrights. Now, like I showed you, that Tiki mug, that was uh, Tiki Bar music uh, from Martin Denny, I think I was playing. And so you just can't have ad revenue turned on because they will say, hey, you're using copyrighted music. It's okay to use copyrighted music. You just can't earn any ad revenue from YouTube if you are using copyrighted music. So I don't ever turn on the ad revenue for my short little videos for my listings. There's no point in it. Uh, and I, I typically will have some music playing in the background that kind of enhances it. Yeah. Hey, Jace, uh, Becky Dick had made a comment there. If you saw that, do you have that video handy of, of uh, my watch that you put on, Stacy? Yeah. Hold. You might want to show that to Becky. All right. What's Mark? What's your question? What's your what? What's your feeling on writing on C photo on whiteboard in the still picture? Oh, now I would never take that time. <laughs> I mean, you could, but boy, I got too much else to do. I would never get to that point. Can you add, uh, where is that? Can you add this through Inkfrog or Octiva? Yeah, yeah. You can switch between standard HTML and Inkfrog too. But I look, it's easiest and best to get the listing done and up and then add it. Just the easiest way where you won't have crazy gray bars like my mom had. Right. Can you add C video in the condition area? No, do not do that. The condition area is for specifically what's up with the condition of your item. People who use that for other things, it's detrimental to you and your listings because a customer complains and, and eBay goes and checks your condition area and you're using it for promotion, they're going to be like, nope, that's not how that works. And yes, you are busted, Michael, showing up halfway through the show. <laughs> All right. So yeah, so the first video... Let me bring that up. So uh, talk for a sec. My wife find this. Yeah. Uh, well, uh, Becky, uh, back a while ago, Jason sold the watch for me. And uh, he, by doing the video, it I definitely helped sell it and putting it on Stacy's wrist. Um, so the combination of, of that helped sell this watch uh, very quickly. And I'll let Jason give you the details on what he sold it for and, you know, what we did. But it was a watch that I had got, uh, been given uh, as a gift from a real nice friend of ours that we went to school with. And I just didn't wear it anymore and finally decided that we would sell it. But it was a very valuable watch. And, um, you know, we uh, had seen one sell on Christie's auctions. Uh, what was it, 20 on? 20,000, 25? 23. 23,000. And uh, so we thought we would give it a whirl. And uh, we actually took the, the, the watch to Pawn Stars way back in the day. And they offered us four thousand dollars. So we said, "No, no, that's okay. We'll we'll, we'll keep it." <laughs> Have you had a chance to find it? Or not yet? No, YouTube is being a being a poop right now. Oh, so, yeah. Yeah. Okay. so, um, so yeah, yeah. So we ended up keeping it, and then I, you know, talked to Jason. And I, this was before we had started to sell on eBay, and uh, so uh, Jason said, "Yeah, Mom, I'll, I'll give it a whirl." And then, and that was, I mean, that was quite a long time ago, Jason, because that was before Mom was selling, and we've been selling what close to ten years now. So. Yeah. 
you know, even back then we were still trying to get videos on eBay. <laughs> so no luck. You know, it's funny no. because when you went through your things, I saw a quick picture of that. Yeah, it was the next video in something. So yeah, okay. I'm almost there. Almost there. Okay. All right. We're, we're coming. We're coming. All right. So I'm going to play the music too, because back then, so this was 2011. And 11. I okay. had to use a flip camera. I mean, it was not easy. It no. was not easy. And so I thought, boy, we should have some mood music. So here we go. Share audio and share. And here is my big Steven Spielberg moment. <laughs> so oops, that was. Oops. Yeah. Now, the only reason I put that video in because that the wrist was really small and you, you couldn't change it. Right. So I was just about to list it. I said, oops, oops. I said, uh, hey, Stace, come out back. I'm going to shoot a video of your wrist because your wrist fits nicely into this watch. So the woman bought it in about three weeks for uh, $18,000. And uh, after she got it, she was good. And we used a uh, escrow service to make sure everybody was covered. Mm -hmm. uh, she wrote me. I didn't ask her to. She just wrote me and said, hey, by the way, I bought this watch only because of that video. I could tell my wrist was the same size as the wrist of the woman's wrist in the video. So Yeah. So, that, so it was well worth it. Well worth it. And I thank my son for the help. <laughs> yes, 2011, <laughs> the good old days. Yeah, <laughs> such dramatic music. I really thought that's what it needed. But nowadays, I'm like, nope. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, all right. Anyone else have any questions? All right, Sharon. Now you've seen it step by step. You can go back and watch this. Yeah. Uh, it should be fairly easy. Now, uh, I will be on the couch working on stuff all night, Sharon. So if you get stuck, message me and we'll see where you get stuck because maybe that's where people get stuck. Yeah, it is, it, right. Let us know, you guys, because I'm going to do mine, Jay's Mommy's got something to, I took a video of already. <clears throat> so I got to go back and do my listing and get it ready. Yeah, Stacey was a very lovely hand model. <laughs> yeah, I mean, nowadays it's so easy. It's on your phone, up on YouTube, on your phone. <laughs> like, think about early eBay. Like, we, we had no pictures. We had to take cash in the mail. Putting videos up back in 2011 was the same kind of thing. It was not easy, but now shoot the video, upload right on your phone, walk to your office, it's ready. It's so simple nowadays. Yeah. So simple. Mark still has the flip. Oh, we'll see. Uh, uh, Carol, uh, message me on Facebook, and I saw someone else ask about the turntable. I had one that I bought that was okay, but it broke way too soon. This one will hold 75 pounds. And uh, you can dial the speed up and down, and it'll go uh, clockwise and counterclockwise. So I did spend a little bit more, but as Judge Marilyn Million on the People's Court says, the cheap comes out expensive. I went cheap first, and it broke in like four months. Yeah, so there you go. Like the gear spins, but it won't actually rotate. I'm like, uh -huh. and, I, I, and I'm not my father. I'm not handy enough to figure it out. So I just bought a better one. <laughs> but the better one holds more weight, and you can have it fast. Or very slow. Like, I think the slowest is over a minute for a full revolution, where the fastest is about 15 seconds. Yeah, I, I just think the videos add so much to the listing. They really do. And you're very welcome for the info. All right, should make it easy now. That's the current. Now, if it changes again, we'll do it again. But right. as of now, that's the current. So that's how you're going to do your YouTube videos. All righty, ready. All right, so... Get rid of all that junk. All right. So a couple quick uh, housekeeping tips. For those of you in the Seeker Beach, the webinar I'm doing for the month of June is, or excuse me, July, is uh, DVDs. Uh, oddly enough, I thought all DVDs were over and done with. My wife and I needed more room for tiki mugs in our house. So we're like, let's get rid of the DVD collection. The tiki mugs look great. But a lot of it was junk, but not all of it. And so we've been selling a lot. I sold... A $20 DVD this weekend, an $85 DVD this weekend, a $20 DVD box set this weekend. <clears throat> so uh, we're going to go over what's hot and what's not next Saturday at, uh, I think, uh, 7 p.m. Eastern for on the West Coast. And, oops, I don't have these in the right order. Uh, immediately following Seeker Beachers, we're having our fourth cocktail party uh, with Mai Tais next week. I will be uh, posting the how-to video, and if you still need to buy ingredients, suggestions on what you should buy. 
And then I can't wait to do this show this Thursday on Thrifty Business. Every month I'm doing what we call board meetings where I get a like demographic of people together <clears throat> and have them discuss, you know, why they're why they're a like demographic. So the last one was Star Wars nerds. We had single moms. And this week, uh, th this month, we're doing black owned uh, online businesses. We got four guests so far. I would like two more. So if you are a black owned business, whether it be Etsy or eBay or Macari or Posh or a combo, I would love to hear your story. And so would everybody else. And, you know, we're going to talk about your story in general, just as an online seller. And then, you know, the world's been a little upside down lately. We're going to talk about that too. So if you'd like to join us as a guest, I would like two more guests. And everybody, tune, tune in, and it uh, should be a great show. of. Uh, and I love when we get any group of online sellers together because everyone has a different way of selling. And so when you see six, seven people in a row go, oh, well, I do it this way, I do it that way, you start to get new ideas. Like every, I'm getting all the messages, hey, what's the turntable? Hey, what's the turntable? So, you know, you get these new ideas from other sellers. It makes you a better seller. You bet. All right, so for this week, that's my mama. And I forgot, I had a banner for that. And I always forget to use it. So let me oh. it. <laughs> that's my mama. There we go. All right. Hey, uh, look at that chair and that hair. <laughs> that was only the main reason I brought that one out, you guys. Not to be any cheesecake or anything like that. But I am sitting in a, a, a web chair when this picture I was taken in 1967. While dad was uh, over in Germany and he wanted me to constantly send him pictures of me. And so I said, okay, so, you know, that's why I have a bunch of these, but uh, get a load of the hairdo. Part of that is not real and part of it is. And, uh, but I love the, uh, the web chair. And of course we've talked about it before, but there's the snow fence in the background again, Chase. I don't think dad and my, my dad ever took it down. Once we had it up, I think it stayed up year round. <laughs> so there's right. that. I am going to drop the uh, turntable. <clears throat> in the uh, chat right now so those of you watching live okay, it'll be super cool. easy to see this it was on amazon but it gives you the brand so if you can find it on ebay or anyplace else cheaper there is the link so there you go makes life makes life easy for you uh, thanks guys for the comments <laughs> all right let's talk mom's okay. scores of the week right. okay you know I've, I've been showing a lot of my native american indian items uh over the past weeks uh and you guys have seen all my sales so if you are out thrifting and you come across some decent um a native american indian items i highly recommend you you purchase them if they're not too expensive don't buy the resin things that you know the, the, the cheapy stuff buy stuff that is made by the uh the indians themselves um you will get a message when you put your listing up you know if, make sure that this is okay. And I always hit continue and it goes through. So for this particular picture um, that mom had, and it was uh, uh, signed in, it, we, I did sell that for $135. And um, you know, so that it, it, I'm, I'm moving it. It's not going out fast, fast, fast. But as you notice, I've, I always have one or two sales a week, a month, you know, it just depends, but it does sell. So keep your eyes open for native American Indian items. Uh, what, okay. what was your hairdo called in that picture? Oh, that was a pompadour <laughs> back in the day. <laughs> now, this okay, is but, a boring dress. And you know, Jason, I was I, I, I bought it because it was cheap. I only paid a dollar for this. And I thought, well, maybe somebody wants a plain Jams World. This is a vintage Jams World dress. All of Jams World items are made in Hawaii. Uh, and, and But most of the time, they're very, very colorful. Like kind of like at the top I have on tonight. And uh, and this this just happened to be a solid one, but these for for one dollar I sold it for thirty bucks. There you, you know? go. I know. So you never know. Not everybody wants a lot of color, I guess. That's right. Yep. So you have to you have to think outside. What? Shut oh. up. Say it isn't so. You guys stole the water ski. Get I, out. <laughs> you know. It's, it, you know what? I think we're down to zip. I don't think we have any left for sale. Yeah, I got to get mine up. I got like seven. Yeah. We uh, this is a taper flex, and uh, we, we bought it for five bucks. It was a slalom ski, and dad did a heck of a job of, of shipping that. Um, because the boot was kind of big and massive, and you know, dad had to really kind of squish it down and wrap it and so forth. And but uh, you, you know, mostly shrink wrap, you guys, and then we slapped on the label. But like I said, we did pay um, five bucks for it and sold it for $75. Now, just had a thought if you yeah. sell water skis and you are a water skier. I would actually have a video of you skiing by. If you're near a lake, you know, if, if this is something <laughs> yeah. like, all right, I'm getting rid of my old water skis, you're a water skier. Holy cow. To see that in action, 
That'd yeah. be an awesome video. Yeah, that would be cool. I could never get my butt out of the water. I could <laughs> never, to this day, never could do it. Another one of the cookie jars that Dad and I had picked up uh, back a little while ago. I paid two bucks for this particular one and sold it for $45. We've done very well with cookie jars, guys. So if any of you are selling cookie jars, uh, cookie jars out there uh, and you can get them really cheap, they do sell well. We have done really, really good. I think we have one left, maybe, maybe two right now from the batch that we purchased. And this, I'm going to give a shout out to Bobby Miller. I think she might be watching tonight. Uh, she's uh, out of Sarasota, Florida, and uh, she bought this from me. Uh, you know, I just it, it, it had shown it uh, last week, and I did had paid ten dollars for it, but to Bobby, I sold it for twenty one. So uh, I'm glad that it went to a good home and someone that watches the show every week. So thank you, Bobby. Yes, there are singles and pairs of Warskis. If you're doing like slalom and stuff, you're going to be on a single. Mm -hmm. If you're doing like, you know, where the, where you're building the pyramid and the girls are on your shoulders, then you'll have two. Yep. Yep. So it just depends on what you're doing. So then we go from that solid dress of jams world to this hand painted jacket. Um, this it, it was a plain white jacket that someone had hand painted. And uh, this was mom's personal uh, piece at one time when I was wearing that. And I uh, did uh, take a best offer of 27 on that. But again, there's the old tag, you guys. Always shows the 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 uh, uh, jams uh, tag because they you know show it shows the, the vintage era from when they are when when they came about. So always yeah, always. I am, tags. I am shocked the next thing sold. Uh, oh, I know. <laughs> because I see you misspelled it. Oh, did I really? You're kidding. What is it? Oh, weird out cassette. Weird, what weird all. Weird all. Oh. Again. Oh my God, gosh! You like see, you, you still. That's why it's sold. That's it. Yeah, Dad says that's why it's I sold. I was looking for weird all. <laughs> well, I only paid a quarter for it, and I know it's not a huge return, but heck, for nine ninety nine for a quarter investment, you guys, you know, you, you got to do it. I'll do. I'll do that all day long. You know, if I can sell them like that, but I can't believe I misspelled that. Oh, yeah, I, I, and I didn't even see it till it was coming up because you, you see where it's yeah. the tab up top. I saw the all. I'm like, oh my. Yeah. Oh, son of a gun. That's awful. That makes <laughs> you me mad. Think of it correct, but not yeah. Al. <laughs> yeah, got the hard one right. Yeah. Yeah. Well, look at that. Mom's selling cassettes. Yay. Here. Yeah. I was, Here, I was I'll, I'll give you uh I'll, I'll give you a Carlton from that one. Good job. Oh, Mom. oh I like Carlton. Yeah. Good job, huh? we'll do that. <laughs> and this next item was from that batch of t-shirts. I tell you, I, I've been saying it every week, but I have been selling a lot of those t-shirts, you guys, not for huge money, uh, 10, 12, $15, you know, but three or four a week practically. And, but this one brought me some really good money. I paid 99 cents for that, uh, that Budweiser one. And I did sell that for 1995. So, you know, some of the shirts have brought me better money, but boy, I'll tell you, Jason, that was a lot of fun doing those t-shirt hauls and, and they're selling. They're selling so easy to ship. Oh my God. You know, compared to all the big stuff that we do here. <laughs> Was there one more item? Did I miss it? There's two more. I think, I think I stopped. I think I forgot to finish. What was next? Oh, uh, next was the uh, Maxwell house coffee can. Okay. Yeah. I just realized something happened and I forgot to finish. Okay. So I'm going to guess it's going to be that. Let me guess the last one. And that. Right. Yeah. Uh, the right. John, John, John Elway. Yep, just okay. realized I never yeah. finished. I this. had shown that uh, I had shown that coffee can in, in my hall, guys, and paid a quarter for it and took an offer of thirteen dollars. Is that what it was up for? No, I took a best offer of thirteen. I, it wasn't in that great a shape, so that's why I took the thirteen dollars. And there were other ones listed, so you know. And that's another thing that I do, everybody. When we get an offer, I'll go in and check and see, you know, what what's going on with the pricing, you know, what they're selling for right now. You know what else is listed, so that's how sometimes we make our decisions on, um, on when we get offers. You know, you don't just necessarily say, "Oh, okay, I, I'll take it." Do do some research quickly and uh, and see if, if if you're you know in the ballpark. And, and last, was, this gonna be, was this going to be your last one? This will be the last one. We showed these the last week. Already sold one. Uh, we bought, I bought two of them, and we have sold the one, the Goodyear Blimp. Uh, it's a plastic blow up. Uh, vintage 19 was that 80s jason 70s um and we paid three dollars and fifty cents for it guys and i did sell it for forty dollars hey so, are the girls coming over to the house at all uh gosh no nah, I, mm, I don't know why oh oh would you sell because i was I thinking don't. video 
you know, you got the string, put it on a little stick and have, you know, my two nieces oh, sitting out, outside. Sure like, oh. Yeah. <laughs> a hard rock beer glass. Oh, we sold a, a hard rock beer glass. For nice. 20 okay. So on my new phone, I'm not getting my eBay notices. What do I need to do? <laughs> you just need to turn them on. Okay. All right. I'll have to go back and do so that. So who, who did I hear the ching from dad's phone? From dad's phone. Yes. Okay. Yep, we just gotta get okay. your noses turned on. Okay. All right, that was mom's okay. scores of the week. Now it's time. Right. For what they yeah. find in that barn? Well, okay. Um, barn in, the, in the one picture, I'm gonna show that really. In the one picture of us standing outside the barn, to the right, there are. I'm gonna have to turn the 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 the, uh, the thing. There were these teak chairs. Let me see if I can get this turned around. A little. There we Ooh, go. Nice. Yeah. And I think these are probably 1980s. They're made of teak uh, from Indonesia, you guys, and in really nice condition. Dad cleaned them up and, you know, uh, really polished them up and really made it look nice. And it's got the original canvas on the chairs. And we paid seven dollars for the pair. We're going to sell them as a pair. And uh, we think, what do we think? Around sixty bucks, fifty nine ninety nine, nice. probably on those. Yeah. Uh, the other thing, I'm going to kind of try and show you the things that came from the barn first. Okay. This is really cute. I, I I just saw this and I thought, well, what a cute candy thing this it would be. There's no special marking, uh, you know, uh, as who made it, but I did look one up and I saw one for sale, similar to mine for forty bucks. That's awesome. I, yeah, I paid two dollars for this guy, and so I'm looking at around thirty four ninety five to you know thirty nine ninety nine, somewhere in that vicinity. But he had thirty eight dollars shipping on it and it sold, so it must have gone, you know, across the the, the pond somewhere. Okay, the next thing that they had there, this was uh, this was really quite quite a nice one, Jason. This is a vintage Lazy Susan. Uh, I'm going to show you like that first, then I'm going to show you the pieces. What makes this really nice, um, it's on the Lazy Susan. It is marked. Can you see that? Does it make it in mm, California, USA? Nah, uh, yeah, kind of hard to see it. Um, let's see if it, maybe the white one's better. There are the four pieces... See if this is any better. Oh, this might be clearer. Is that any clearer? Nah, not so, not so much. I, I, I can see that there's writing, obviously. Yeah, yeah, it is California, USA, uh, L74. Make sure you put that in your title, uh, you know, when you're listing them. But besides the four pieces, the centerpiece has the lid, so that, that makes it even more valuable because most of the lids are gone. Uh, there and, and it's on the lazy susan so i have four if i say i have seven pieces most of them have five four pieces uh so i'm going to list this for 60 bucks guys and i pay five dollars for that so that was really really nice um let's see uh, oh yes 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 okay i picked up this um paint by number kit uh this is not open uh it is still right. sealed it's, it's it's not you know it's not an old timer it's from 2004 but these still do sell. This is a Kentucky Thoroughbeds, and it's called Kentucky Morning. And I paid a dollar and a half for it. And I'm putting this up for 30 bucks, everybody. Okay. But the kits do sell as well. And especially since a lot of people are still, you know, at home trying to, you know, do things. Um, okay. Now, this next thing they had there, I it's uh, this is from the 1970s. And they told me that their parents, his their, her father mainly used this, Jason. Um, so 1970s, I paid three dollars for a traveling bar. Nice. Yeah, isn't that nice? I mean, the bottle not... in there already. What, honey? The bottle was in there too. Yeah, the bottle was in there. Is it's that empty. bottle full? No, it's empty. Oh, it's okay. empty. Yeah, they, they, I think they just use it. That's early. a 12 year old stuff. But you know, it, yeah, it's. Uh, I mean, it, the cups can tell. You can tell they've been worn. But uh, I'm going to be listing this for $38.95 so that, you know, they are bringing some, some really good money. Yeah, uh, I, I, I've sold a bunch of paint by numbers that were sealed. And, there, and there's a way to rejuvenate the paints. Most people who use them know that. And uh -huh. I have never had anyone complain. Okay. Uh, that's cool. Positive feedback. So never yeah. had a complaint. Uh, I forget what sale I was at, but somebody just said, oh, here, just take these. They're free. So they're the Hank Williams Volume 1 and 2 cassettes. And some of these have sold for, it's funny, the prices are all over the place, Jace, for either five bucks to, to $15 to $20. So uh, since they were free up now, $12.99, $14.99, and, yeah. and see, see what happens, you know? So apparently but, the Robin Egg Blue is one of the hot colors right now. So Lori, oh, at least do 75 on that Lazy Susan. At least 75 on the Lazy Susan? 
Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Those. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Which one, honey? Behind. Behind me. What do I got behind me? Right oh yeah, 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 yeah. These came from the barn as well. Dad, how many did you buy? Three. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. seven. Dad bought seven. We have. He, Dad has bought these before, and he saw these uh, on the shelf. Uh, these are rasps, right, hon? Yeah, rasps. Horse, uh, for farriers. Fair, fair, farriers. Horse rasps, you know, for doing the hooves on the horses. And he paid a buck a piece for him. He bought 50 seven. Cents. Oh, 50 cents a piece? 50 cents a piece. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm talking about, guys. If you've ever seen them shoe horses, if you, of course, maybe not everybody. Okay. In the country. You're saying it like most people that are watching are horse people. That's yeah. you. And, and I, we had three horses, so I'm very familiar with it. But these will sell around $35 a piece. Well, uh, minimum. 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 Yeah. Uh, the, yeah. These are, these are in high demand. So I, I think we're looking at some decent money on the rasps. Okay. All right. Now, um, all right. So 75, she said on this one gal said, uh, because this, this color is in high demand right now. So that's good to know. Okay. This next little item that I picked up. Da, 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 da. Oh, nice. You remember these? You that, guys? Your, I think that's your new jam, you two. So it's water, skis, TV trays, TV oh. VTRs, and light. And light. Now, Dad, well, Dad did the research on this, and it's called the Big Ball of Light, L-I-T-E. I paid two bucks for it, you guys, and I'm going to list this for around $25. Okay. <laughs> Stacey yeah. said, what the hell are those? Meaning the thing that you thought everyone would know what it was. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you know, when you're shoeing your horse, as everyone yeah. who's watching has done. Okay, I picked up a set of salad bowls, but see who they're by? Well, you're kind of you're kind of typical Peggy at the end of the show fuzzy. Yeah, so. So okay, no, we are, cannot see. Okay, these are by McCoy, everybody. McCoy. Oh, cool. Okay, and it's a set of four. Uh, the plate and the bowl it could be a cereal bowl, salad bowl, whatever you like. You know, like it to be. And I paid. Uh, they had eight dollars on the set. I got it for five for the four pieces. And I, these, these are going to be around uh, around fifty bucks or so uh, when I list the, the the whole set of McCoy. So that's a real nice set there. Oh, then this other lamp I picked up this week. Of course. This, this is really cool. Um, can you see that, Jace? Nah. Yeah, yeah, not, not so am, I get, am I getting really bad? Yeah, why don't you pop out for a quick second? Okay. You know, right, I will. I will. Okay. I'll. Uh, okay, you fill I'll in. Talk, I'll talk for a sec. So if you're new to our show, my mom lives in the country. I have to explain this every week so you understand. My mom lives in the country, and her best internet speed is slower than the slowest option I have. So she gets uh, she gets wonky, and then of course it kind of stinks because if she's trying to show us something with detail, we can't see it. So, so I have her go out, refresh. Oh, she ain't coming back. Oh, oh, oh no! Come back, mommy! Come back! Well, Linda, I wasn't sure if it was a brain lamp. I thought it was maybe a big sea urchin. That I couldn't tell. All right. Okay. Are we back? Yeah, let's see it now. All right. Okay. Let's Better? Yep. Am, I, am I clear? Okay. So here's the lamp. And... We're speculating. Oh, there it is. Oh, yeah. Much better. Thank God we had you refresh. It looks like uh, pineapple slices with cherries in the middle. <laughs> yeah, yeah. 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 You're right. It does. Absolutely. So if I only paid two bucks for this. I'm going to, I think around $30, $35. This is kind of you're weird. missing one pineapple slice if you haven't noticed. Oh, we are? Yep. On the other side, the side that you've been showing us. See it oh, right there? Yes, 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 yes. I'll have to make note of that. So that might yep. take my price down a little bit. But uh, but I just thought it was cute. And for two bucks, I said, oh, I'll take a chance on that one. That that looks pretty cool. All right. Um, what do we got left? Oh, two things. Two things, guys. Okay. All right. Give me that piece of paper, hon. Please. And the original receipt there. Okay. I bought this at a uh, garage sale. The, uh, the people were clearing out their parents' stuff because both parents had just recently passed away. So... Now, I haven't found any of these for quite a while. Can we hear me? You know what? I'm just gonna just turn that around. I'll show. Uh, yeah. Pineapple just... upside down cake looks like Easter ham. Oh yeah! <laughs> Everyone's loving that lamp. All right, so Dad is holding what we found there. Okay, this is an Optima uh, portable typewriter. I paid five dollars for leather, this. Everybody, leather case. leather case. Um, this particular one, just one, just sold for two hundred twenty-five dollars, Jason. 
So, you know, that mom will probably list right. it for the, for the same kind of price. So uh, this, oh, and it has the original sales receipt, 1963. Shut up. Well, yeah. How much was it on the sale? $41. $41. That's when they a lot it. of money. Yeah. I mean, that is a lot of money. Well, the guy got a hell of a discount because he paid cash. Yes. <laughs> Here's the original. Yeah, that was 63 1963, it says. 1963 yeah. started out at $111 and got deducted because of cash. Cash. A $41 deduction because of cash. <laughs> so $41 in 63 is $346 right now. Yeah. So if it was supposed to be $111. Right. How much was that? $1,000. $138. <laughs> And by the time they got done, the total, the bill was $41.99. There we go. So there's the original receipt. So that'll help sell it. Besides, oh, yeah. you know, and a, 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 Optima is a, a German made. Uh, right. Uh, okay. The other thing is you can see to dad's side. We I, I saw it. Yeah. yeah. We haven't found any of these in a long time. Um, well, uh, this is special. Yeah. This one's really a good one, you guys. This is a symphonic. Uh, TV VHS uh, recorder combination. Gamer. A gamer. It's uh, a gamer. A gamer. That's important. Called gamer. It's got a game button on, on it. And it, the, the main thing, give me that. The main thing that that you want, you guys, when you find these is the clicker. The clicker is golden and adds quite a bit of value, you know, to the, uh, to the. Well, to I the wouldn't game. buy one without yeah. the clicker. Right, right. Because they just don't work as well. Also has the instruction booklet. No, 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 they don't sell. They, well, they don't sell as well. Yeah, that's true too. But it works great. I already took my video, Jace. <laughs> nice. <laughs> of the of the of the, uh, the the movie playing, and we sat and watched Raiders of the Lost Ark the other day that I haven't seen in a zillion years. So with Dad's research on this, uh, we I paid uh, th th three dollars, three bucks, and with Dad's research, eh, well, there's there's well, one listed for well, sale. One. One just for, sold yeah. for eighty dollars, no clicker. No clicker. Wow. No clicker. Yeah. <laughs> now there's one listed right now. Same as ours. Same as ours. There's one listed for three hundred and seventy-five dollars. So, because it's got a game button on it. Yeah, that seems it's to be a gamer. The, that seems to be the key, you know. So, uh, so yeah. So we'll probably list that around yeah, three, two fifty, three hundred bucks, and see how we do. So, Kathy, we will talk about shipping that typewriter when it sells. Yes. So, Ma, you got to remember pictures from start to finish and some okay. video of Dad yep. shipping that bad boy because we've never talked about that before. So, no. once it gets listed and sold, that'll be the topic. Uh, it we'll do another Big Daddy another shipping tips that week to show yep. specifically how to do the typewriter. Yep, that'll be just fine. That way, Instead of just talking about it, that way we'll have pictures and hopefully video. And now that mom's got the new phone, it'll be nice and clear. Woohoo! Can't <laughs> wait. Can't wait. So that's a how, everybody. I think we did it. I think we did it. All right. All right. Debbie wants us to get a few more thumbs up. We have 123 of you watching live. So that's awesome. Thank you very much. Do us a favor and uh, give us a thumbs up down below and subscribe if you, whoops. Uh, there we go. If you have not subscribed before, please do so and check off that bell. When you check off the bell, it lets you know when I'm going live or when I upload a video of my lava lamp bubbling, things like that. So give us a big old thumbs up right there, right underneath mom's chin. Yep. And hit the yep. subscribe button down there. Right. So I got a lot of listening to do this week, as you yes. can see. <laughs> yes. All right. So I think I think you have a uh, customer for the pineapple lamp. Okay. So, All righty. So so I I got it and uh, I will uh, yes clear unlike her internet connection yes very much so. <laughs> so sorry everybody what can I say <laughs> I forget Do you have an external camera or are we using your built in one the built in one. Okay, so uh, I think we'll buy you an external camera this week. I don't exactly. think that'll do much, but it wouldn't hurt. Won't so, hurt so let's try an external camera. I'll uh, I'll order one okay. and ship it out to you this week. And then for next okay. Sunday, we'll see if it gets any better. And if any it does, better. I'll be mad at myself. We can do that sooner. No kidding. <laughs> it might. I mean, it just might help us. Hey, Kevin. Bye, Kevin. <laughs> oh, hey, Kev. <laughs> All right. Do we have a topic yet for next week? I, I didn't even, we even talk about it. Uh, we have not, so I don't okay. know. 
All right. So yeah, mom yeah. started to post and you guys had lots of great suggestions. Yeah. So oh, mom, we'll I'll have mom bump that post tonight. So yeah. if you have a suggestion for something you want us to go through step-by-step, step, like how to ship a typewriter, which will come hopefully as soon as they sell it, uh, right. let us know. And then we'll work off of that list for our show ideas coming up. Coming up. Exactly. Oh, I'm anxious to uh, try this. If, I, if mom gets stuck, I'm calling you. <laughs> yeah, it's easy. It's easy. And yeah. here's the key. All of you, right now, tomorrow, tonight, if you have a listing that could use a video, do it while it's fresh in your brain. One of mom's biggest mistakes is we yep. do these kind of things, and then she doesn't add a video for seven and a half months. And then she's like, I forget. If I you did it at least once a week, you wouldn't. Right. And then well, the third or fourth yeah. one, it'd be just second nature. Yeah, that's what mom needs to do for sure. Because, uh, and, and, and you know, Jason, now that, you know, it doesn't have to be necessarily a moving item just like you have with your turntable so if i do well, yeah, that you have that blimp just hold it off camera so you, you don't see your hands but right. I fly over your granddaughters that would be hilarious <laughs> yeah, that would be cute that would be really cute. you gotta think of these things and i'm telling yeah. you 20 to 30 seconds tops nothing needs to be long so you're not mm -hmm. setting up you're not setting up an epic like you know uh uh saving private ryan it's just gonna be quick but yeah. just to convey how cool it looks or how it works, you know, that's all you need. Exactly. All right. Thank you, everybody. Okay. Good to see you. Don't forget, tune in Thursday for uh, my next board meeting. And if you are want to be part of the panel, hit me up. I've had I added somebody today who saw one of my videos on YouTube. So I was like super excited. Very all right, nice. everybody. Thank you. Uh yes, yes, Grace. Adam, when I sold my last typewriter, I did a video of me typing the quick Ooh. brown box, jumped over the lazy dog. Okay. Okay. Absolutely. Thank you. Good, good, good. That's the product you want to see that it works yeah. for sure. Yeah. Good tip. All right, everybody. Thank you. Uh, we'll see you on Thursday. So for selling past your expiration date, being thrifty over 50, I'm Jay. I'm Peg and Big Daddy. Big Daddy. See ya. <laughs> Bye, everybody. Have a good evening, everybody. Bye-bye. Thanks for watching. Bye. <laughs>